Right, this is a first in a series of tutorials to end up with an angle poise lamp. So we're going to start this tutorial with the lampshade. We're going to do it from the front and we're going to view that from the front as well so it's nice and flat, makes it easy. I'm going to start by sketching on that front work plane um, a circle. The diameter of the circle is 125. So the computer's running a little bit slowly, you'll have to be patient. 125 and at this stage I'm putting in millimetres because I haven't set the default working units to millimetres just yet. Okay, We're then going to add a rectangle in. The rectangle is going to go through the circle at the top and we're just going to shuffle that around so the view's a little bit easier. I'm going to make it 60 millimetres wide and I want it to stay in the centre so we're going to make that 30 millimetres either side of that central point. The height of this, I'm going to make it 110 millimetres. So it's not too big. And then we're going to add a circle on the top of that. And it, that has to be in the centre to the edge. And then there's no dimensions needed on that circle at all. We're then going to repeat a lot of those steps because we're going to revolve this to create our shape. So we just want that line for the lampshade that will revolve around 360 degrees. So we're going to draw a new circle. We're going to draw a new rectangle. And then we're going to draw that last circle at the top as well from the centre of this line out to the edge. Now dimensions, really, really important to dimension everything all the way through. We just want this to be one millimetre thick, so it's a shell. We knew the last one was 125 diameter, so this one's going to be 123. So it's a millimetre on both sides. I didn't put millimetres, so I'm going to have to zoom out, and I'll change that again. So 123 millimetres, and I can zoom back in. So that's the importance of units right there and a bad example from me. An inadvertent bad example I might add. Okay, I'm going to dimension between these two lines. That needs to be one millimetre. This one needs to be a millimetre as well. And then this circle will be a millimetre away once I line those two up. And you can see that there's a nice parallel line all the way around. My last line now, or last two lines should I say, is one right from the centre all the way through the top. And then another line horizontally through the side. Then we need to grab the scissors and we need to trim away everything we don't need. So we, like we said before, we just want the outline around that left side. So we're going to start deleting at the top here. Using a scissor tool, just chopping away those bits that we don't need. We don't need in here any of that. We don't need this horizontal line. We'll just let the computer catch up a second. And then we might need to zoom in for the bits where you can clearly see there's still something there in a moment. A few more big bits to get rid of before we get to that state. Okay, we're getting there. So we have a very small vertical line there. So that's going to become our axis. So we don't need to draw any other false lines in. So we can delete these few. Absolutely vital at this stage you get every little line out of the way. We don't want anything to cause um, disruption further down the design line. And we'll zoom in and go around everything with a fine tooth comb. You can see there's quite a few lines just in here that we need to get rid of. So I'm just going to click on all four of those. Okay, just zooming in and out, making sure that everything's gone. So 
Yellow for a few more. We had overlapping lines at the bottom, so they might take a couple of clicks to get rid of. And then let's zoom around it all. So at this point, if you hold down on that middle scroll button, you can move it around. So you can see that we've got connected lines with nothing in the middle so far. I'm going to zoom in and out and go right to that corner and cheat. There's a couple of lines to get rid of. Hopefully that's just the dimension line, which is quite useful. And zoom into the top here. That's not connected, no spare lines there. So this should work. Um, I've got my fingers crossed here. I'm clicking tick to say I'm finished and I'm ready to revolve that shape. The revolve tool is the one that looks a bit like a half-eaten donut. The first thing you need to do is select the sketch. So I'm going to select that shape for my revolve. The second thing is the axes. And like we said, we're going to use that little tiny vertical line you might need to zoom in and grab. Then that revolves round, and that's your lampshade all sorted. We have opted for the full option. That's a default one. You could change that if you only wanted it to go part of the way around. For this lampshade, we need it to be full. So we're going to leave that as it is right there. And then we're going to click tick. We've done the revolve. Your lampshade, or the start of your lampshade, is done. We have some holes and mounting parts to go on it. But so far, so good. Good luck.